We are going to begin with that growing fire emergency in California. Multiple blazes breaking out across the state. Fast moving fires shutting down major highways and destroying homes. You're looking live at the KABC chopper flying over Los Angeles County right now. And Matt Gutman, he is on the ground in Porter Ranch, California, bringing us the story. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Michael. This is an incredibly dangerous situation. Once you see this fire down below, it's engulfed this entire valley. We've been here for about 25 minutes or so, and we've seen hundreds of acres consumed in this entire area. Now, down there, that's the San Fernando Valley. Millions of people live there. The wind blowing at 30 miles an hour. Watch those embers being whipped around. And all around us, there are fires right in those hillsides being completely engulfed by this wind and the embers that are going up. And just minutes ago, we saw police officers going door to door, telling people to get out and get out now. The scene this morning, apocalyptic. Firefighters rolling in, many engulfed in curtains of smoke. Their hoses not enough to douse this inferno. The hellscapes here fueled by winds gusting up to 60 miles per hour. Watch how quickly the wind whips the smoke from this fire onto a major freeway. The fire is gridlocking rush hour traffic as thousands were forced to evacuate. This family cutting it close. You can't even see. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. What you don't want to do is get trapped in something like this. Narrowly escaping the encroaching flames. Overnight, we went into that trailer park where so many homes were still ablaze. Sounds like a machine gun is going off in there. Those pops? That's ammunition inside the house. Firefighters here are absolutely overwhelmed. What they're trying to do is prevent this fire from spreading farther and save these other homes just across the way. Police later declaring it a crime scene. It may be hard to make out what that was, but it was somebody's car. This was their truck. This was a trailer, and behind me was an entire neighborhood all gone. Children at a nearby school sheltering in place, cowering as the windstorm brought the fire dangerously close. Jack Bradley yeah. spiriting his daughters out of there. I take off on foot uh, basically around all of them because I'm not taking no for an answer. I'm getting to the school. Got my daughter, got a couple other kids that were uh, with her that I know and got them out of there. Massive destruction. Despite unprecedented precautions, utilities companies shutting off the power to millions in California ahead of that critical fire weather. But that trailer park fire started when a trash truck caught fire. The trash load was dumped off to the side of the road, ignited the vegetation, and then obviously the fire spread from there. Because this fire has been moving so quickly, and you can see those embers just in a tornado behind me, firefighters and police just haven't been able to assess the damage. Right now, they're still just going door to door. In fact, uh, you can see them right behind us, but uh, they haven't been able to assess how many homes destroyed and whether or not any people have been harmed in this. But clearly, this is going to go on for some time. This isn't going away anytime soon, guys. And and Matt, we know you mentioned the wind, and and which makes it very hard to fight these fires. Could you could you elaborate a little bit more on the wind conditions out there? You know, I, I don't have an exact number of how fast they are, but the way the wind is swirling, Michael, down in this canyon and through these ridge tops, it's got to be 35, 40 miles an hour, and there's nothing that firefighters can do to stop that. These embers are going miles into the air. And again, everywhere in that direction, which is completely consumed by smoke, that curtain of smoke, well, I'm standing in fire, so I'll probably get out of that. But everywhere in that direction are homes. So we are bound to see more homes catch fire, and hopefully uh, nobody will get hurt in this and everybody's evacuated just, <clears throat> excuse me, like they were asked to. Michael. All right, we don't need you to get hurt either, Matt, so take care of yourself 